Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your micro SD to SD to Vita adapter that will be going into your already hacked PS Vita, either the 1000 or 2000s. It doesn't have, matter if you have the United States or Japan variants. Um, what you see on my screen is I went ahead and put everything you will need into one folder and I'll have it linked in the description below. So to save you guys the headache from going to various websites to download each individual item that you see on this screen, I already got everything downloaded, the latest versions of each one already downloaded and all put all together into a folder for you. In this video, the only two files we'll be using is Windows 32 disk imager and ZZ blank image. So all you're going to need is you already hack PS Vita, the USB cord. If your laptop desktop doesn't come with already built in card reader, you can buy one of these off of eBay for two or three bucks. Looks like that. Um, you're going to need a SD to Vita adapter. Make sure you get the latest one, which is version 6.0. And for the sake of this video, I will be using a Sandus Ultra 64 gig. Uh, let's see if we can get it focused. All right, there you go. This is the same brand I use for the for modding the PSPs. Um, you could also use Samsung micro SD cards if you want. Um, before we start the process of setting up the micro SD to the SD to Vita adapter, um, keep in mind, think about the storage capacity that you would want for your PS, your modded PS Vita. And I say that because if you are going to be downloading a lot of PS Vita games, please keep in mind, PS Vita games are huge compared to ISOs for the PSP, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES, and so on. So if you know you're going to be downloading a lot of PS Vita games, go for either the 128 gig or 250 256 gig um if you're not going to be downloading a lot of ps vita games you're just going to be downloading nes game boy color um psp games etc you can use smaller capacity micro sd cards I wouldn't really recommend 32 gig because you could fill those up very, very quickly. So I would say 64 gig, 128 or 256 gigs would be perfectly fine. Just keep in mind um, what you're going to be downloading and think about the storage that you will be using. That way you don't have to keep doing the repeating this, well, pretty much this setting up the memory card. So let's go on and let's proceed. So what we're gonna do is get your micro SD and pop it into the card reader as so, and then pop it into the computer. So let me exit out of this, exit out of that. So what you want to do is go to the card reader and what you want to do is right click and then go to format. A dialog box is going to be popping up. All you want to do is click restore device to defaults and then press start. The dialog box is going to pop up, press OK. This drive is already in use by another program. Yes. 
Okay. Exit out of that. Now what you want to do is go to Win32 Disk Imager. You want to install that. What you want to do is press yes. Then you want to click I accept the agreement and push next, push next. And then click install. And then click finish. This dialog box that pops up, readme.txt. You don't have to worry about that, just X out of it. Now what you want to do, make sure this right here is the correct location, which it is. You can see the car read is E. That's E. So next you want to do, click on the photo icon. And then you want to go to the ZZ blank image, click on that, and then click open, and click right. Then this is going to pop up, you want to click yes, click yes, exit. Then what you want to do is go to the card reader, click on it, it's going to ask you to format again, click format. We're going to repeat the process again. Restore. Now this time you can label it wherever you want. I will be labeling, labeling this Vita 64 gig. You can name yours wherever you want. And then once you're done, click start. Press OK. Press OK. And then exit out of that. So now your SD card is ready for your Vita. So the next step is what you want to do. Plug in your Vita to the computer. Don't pop in the SD card to the... Um, don't put it into that and then put it into your Vita. So what you want to do... Turn on your PSP. I mean, sorry, not PSP. PS Vita. And then what you want to do? Start H Encore. Start that. Press yes. And then once it gets to this screen, press X. And then you want to go to Vita Show. Start that. And then now you want to plug in your PS Vita. You don't have to worry about internet. And then what you want to do, press select. So set your PS Vita to the side. Oh, camera lost focus. All right. So now this is your PS Vita. So what you want to do, press press and hold control and then A, press and hold with the mouse and then copy everything to your um, SD card. So this is going to take about two to five minutes and we'll be right back all right five seconds left what's this two files with the same all right i don't know which two files is talking about all right skip all right and then that's it your sd card is ready so what you want to do Go to your Vita, and then, uh camera's not even focus. All right, so what you wanna do, press O, and then disconnect your Vita. And then next, we're gonna do, disconnect the card reader, and then take the card reader out. 
and then put it into your adapter and then pop in the card like to out of Vita show oh my camera having a hard time all right so I already got everything that I want well for you guys um you ain't gonna have all this Mine's my video was already hacked. But I was doing some tutorial on how to you guys could do this yourselves. So pretty much everything that was already on my Vita, I just transferred it to my SD card. So pretty much I was making a copy of my SD card. But um, any games you want to download, you go to PKG and then start that. And then this is where you can get all your PS Vita games for free. And then if you push triangle, you can filter it by title, region, name, size, the date. You can choose the regions, Asia, Europe, Japan, United States. And then you could choose show games. Show games would be PS Vita show DLCs, show demos, show themes, your PlayStation games, um, PSP games, and so on. So, that's it for this video. If you would like me to do a video on how to hack your PS Vita, I could do that. For those of you that already know how, well, already got a hack PS Vita and just didn't know how to do the micro SD to SD to Vita adapter setup, this is how you do it. So hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below if you want to what videos you would like me to do either on PS Vita or PSP and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.